obviously you mentioned um it being written in mind with maybe say a movie um if if it was announced you know in a couple of months that Paramount had decided to make a Godfather part four and they were using the family Corleone as the basis how, how would that make you feel would you would you be happy with that well I don't think they could because the Puzo family has the rights to the literary rights of the novel so I don't think family Corleone as a basis for a fourth um, Godfather movie without the permission of the Puzo family at least not without a big court fight um, oh, right, I see. Um, and I don't think they would uh, they would do that. The Puzo family and Paramount seem to have some um, uh, antithesis, you know, uh, an antipathy between them. Because uh, I don't, they, 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 you remember Paramount sued to keep the book from being published because they claimed that they owned uh, all the rights to the literary uh, uh, characters also, but they lost that. They lost that uh, case, and uh, and Grand Central published the novel. So until um, until somebody at Paramount decides that um, that they can make a lot of money by making the Family Corleone as a movie, I don't think that's gonna that's gonna happen. All right. See, um, I mean, if it did happen, <clears throat> I don't suppose you have any actors in mind in your head of who to, who would play who in your novel. Did you envisage? certain actors' uh, faces when you were writing the novel, maybe? No, what I did know is that that would be the hardest part of making the movie because there hardly ever been a more brilliant ensemble than there was uh, mm. for the making of the family, uh, for the making of The Godfather. I mean, th those actors are just, uh, all of them, every single one of them were were, were great actors. Uh, you know, from John Cazal and, you know, um, De Niro and Pacino uh, and Duvall, what a oh. cast, what an amazing cast for a movie. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, it would be a real, it would be a real challenge to find actors who could live up to the original ones, but there are tons of good actors around and I think they probably could find a good cast. Was, when you wrote the novel, because uh, uh... You mentioned something about uh, it being written with a movie in mind. Was there any kind of concrete plans back then for a movie? No, no, it was uh, it was solely to be a literary uh, effort. Um, no, uh, no talk of a movie. But I did um, the possibility of a movie being made was included in the contract. Right, I see. If a, um, another, if a movie was made, I got a certain percentage. All oh, right, I see. Um, so, I mean, I don't suppose there were any plans for a sequel because I know Puzo spoke about um, the uh, the present day storyline of Godfather Part Four, which would follow Andy Garcia's character, and it would involve uh, the Harlem streets. Uh, Eddie Murphy was supposed to have played um, a Harlem gangster, from what I hear, and it would have ended with the with the Garcia character, uh, Andy Garcia's character, getting involved in drugs and going out and kind of. Uh, a flurry, flurry of bullets, ending the uh, Corleone family, so to speak. Uh, I might be wrong on some details there, um, but these are just things I've heard. Um, do you did you kind of have any kind of connections to a present day or a, a, a Godfather Part Four, which would involve the Corleones after Michael? No, none at all. Um, writing the, I think writing a, a sequel to the Godfather is much more difficult task than I had in writing the prequel. The, what makes The Godfather great are those characters, the Sonny and, and Vito and, and uh, all of the, uh, you know, Clemenza, uh, all of those guys. Uh, but they were all dead by the time the, the movies are over. So you've got, an, it's, it's really like, uh, you haven't got the stuff that made the, you haven't got the stuff that made the books and the movies great to work with. Um, in any sequel, you've got to create new characters, and um, it's hard to match <laughs> what, what what was done in The Godfather. Much easier, I think, much easier task to write a pre prequel because I still had all those great characters to work with. Hmm. Is it a world <clears throat> that there's a chance where maybe you might dive back into again? Well, not not unless somebody asks me to. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, the Puzo, the Puzo family owns all the rights for the literary. Uh, um, story and the uh, paramount 
owns all of the, the film rights. Um, so I, I, I kind of suspect that one of these days, Paramount's going to figure out that they've got a blockbuster movie in the family Corleone. Um, fans write me all the time saying they wish the movie were made. Uh, so I think at some point, Paramount uh, may actually make this movie, uh, but I don't know when that'll, uh, that'll happen. And I'd love to write the screenplay for it if that were possible, since I had I wrote the book with the idea of the screenplay in mind. But, you know, that was 2012. I've written um, three novels since then. Uh, and uh, I'm working on a new novel now. So um, I keep working, but, but I would go back to the family Corleone if there were um, and to the Puzo story in the right under the right circumstances. Would you want uh, <clears throat> Francis Ford Coppola to direct? He's a genius. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a, I think he's a brilliant uh, artist. And I would be thrilled to see him direct um, a movie like The Family Corleone. I think he'd be brilliant at it, yeah. So have you or his been, daughter. Oh, you Sophia, can do it. Yeah, I have heard her name, her name being thrown Sophia into is it. Also, yeah. hmm. uh, there, so, I mean, there, there was also um, an article I read a while back where a representative from Paramount Pictures did mention they were looking to make, I mean, maybe they were talking about the offer, but they were talking about going back into the world of The Godfather. But this was a few years ago, so it might have actually been the offer and I'm just talking about nothing. But I know there is a movie coming out or planned um, by Barry Levinson. I know he's currently filming a, a gangster film with Robert De Niro called Wise Guys, but he's supposed to be making uh, a making of The Godfather where... Um, Francis Ford Coppola will be played by um, oh the name's just gone out of my head <laughs> but um, the guy who's in a, a Most Violent Year and he was in the recent Star Wars films as well um, yeah I know what you're talking about I can't think of his it's, name either it's just, it's just it's literally just gone out of my head from, uh, he's such a famous actor um, uh, well I mean if you know who I'm talking about you know who I'm talking about um, but uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if you've heard anything about that because it was a bit strange how almost two projects tacting the same thing. You know, the offer, and then this this movie coming out. Yeah, it sounds. They sound very similar. Mm. Uh, no, I haven't heard. Uh, I haven't heard anything about them. Um, but I don't know why they want to make movies about the making of the Godfather. I, again, I, it's it's baffling to me that they don't want to make the family Corleone. You know, it, it's it. I think it would make a terrific movie or a terrific series. Um, and I have to guess it has something to do with uh, antipathy between the Puzo family and Paramount. That's my guess is why it's not, is why it's never happened because they did sue to keep the book from being published. So perhaps maybe that is keeping them from making the, making the film. Uh, but I do, again, I wrote the book for, for translation to film and I think it would make a good movie and I would love to see Paramount do it. Um, and I would love to write the screenplay, but you know that's uh, that's up to Paramount. <laughs> they have they have to make that choice. I wonder if there's an element of um, obviously you know beside the legal poten potential legal issues, whether there's a kind of fear about treading into that territory, you know, because you've had the the two films which are considered classics, and then the the third film, which uh, you know a lot of people don't like it, and then. You know, where it's, it's almost like this is a a titanic undertaking to make a fourth Godfather film or a Godfather prequel or Godfather TV show, and maybe they're just uh, just too scared to go down that road just yet. Maybe they're teasing the wars with uh, making making of the Godfathers yeah. until they get to an actual Godfather project. Well, um, worrying about the integrity of the former movies has never stopped studios before. So I don't, I don't know why it would stop them this time. Um, and I think if they read, you know, anybody who reads the books, they should be able to see that there's a good film there. But I, yeah, I know, I hear what you're saying. Um, it's tough to compete with what is, what are widely considered two of the best movies ever made. Mm -hmm. God, one and two. 